What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. And today we are going to be doing three awesome, easy Ikea hacks and it's gonna be great. So let's do it. Now, most of you know that Ikea has some pretty great stuff on its own without even hacking it at all. Um, but some things are made to be hacked, they are asking to be hacked, and it is a, a price that people can take that and make it into something really custom, really beautiful, and really nice. So the first thing we are going to hack is the um, Evar cabinet, which is right here. This is what it looks like normally, and I bought four of them because they don't stay in stock at my local Ikea. And so I have done two of them, but we're just gonna do one for right now. I'll show you the other one down the line in a future video, so stay tuned for that. But the first one, we needed a foyer entryway cabinet storage solution. So I took this one and this is what I did with it. Don't mind my dirty deck, but um, I've taken it outside here. This is the Evar piece. Um, it is the thin one and it comes with two shelves. I've already pre-built this because I think watching someone build Ikea furniture is pretty redundant. So I went ahead and did that. Um, Ikea makes things like this so you can hack them. Um, but this is a stackable piece. It is a mountable piece that is very customizable. Um, it has two shelves here and I have already filled in the holes where you would stack them with wood glue. Um, because I'm going to sand this down and I wanted to go ahead and do this beforehand so it would I could sand it all in one piece. I'm going to make this into something beautiful. So after sanding, I'm going to take this microfiber cloth and um, just kind of get the dust off of the, the piece. As you can see here, this is where I put the wood glue on and it is smooth so it can be painted over super easy. And I'm just going to kind of just dust this off, if you will. So I have brought this into our studio um, and I'm going to be using our cabinet um, for our kitchen color um, because it's cohesive. So this is the Valspar cabinet and furniture. Um, it's enamel paint. It is a um, like, it doesn't need sanding or priming or anything like that. It's very thick. Um, this is what I use for my bathroom upstairs and I loved it so um, this is a custom color that we made from a cabinet we actually got at Ikea and it is going to look perfect on this. So first coat is done. Um, I have to take the hardware off here and do that, but I painted the inside obviously, and I'm going to do a second coat. I don't need one for coverage. I just want one for like smoothness. And um, yeah, it looks really good. I'm also gonna fill in these holes with paint. Um, my paintbrush was just a little too large. I'm gonna get a smaller one when I do that. And I painted the entire thing, even the back. Um, this is like a press board, um, so it did like absorb this paint. So if you think you can get away with like a little bit of paint, think again. <laughs> um, this was actually very absorbing and it was drying really fast. It's still a little sticky in some places, but I'm going to take the doors off, which is the first thing that I did. And I'm going to uh, finish out painting. And I also need to paint the um, edges on here like down because those will show when I close this but yeah looking good so far so it is the next day and this is drying I did turn it over and this is the bottom because the next thing I'm going to do is paint this I'm going to finish the shelves and then I'm going to actually screw on some legs 
that I got off of Amazon, which I will link in the description below if you want to check those out. And I'm going to screw those on and it's going to be super simple. So it lifts it up off the floor and gives it a little bit more elevation. All right. Um, excuse the mess because this is my craft room and office. Um, but that's what the legs are, guys. That looks amazing. Look at that. Super easy to do. Um, I am going to put the shelves back in here and like I said, um, fill these in. But also, I'm going to put a top coat on this at some point. Um, just because it's still, like, it's not rough, but it is raw wood. So, um, the paint didn't smooth it out like I wanted it to. But I'm going to put a clear top coat on that. Maybe in a satin finish to give it a little more sheen, a little more shine. But we have one more thing to do. I got these handles um, from Amazon. I will link them down below. But I was thinking about putting them not at the very top because I think that would look very odd. Maybe about right here. Um, so it's not centered, but it could still be reachable when you're standing up because this is an entryway table. I'm just going to add those to that. It did come with the screws, like I mentioned, which I love. And uh, yeah, as you can see, this really does need a top coat for sure. How cool is that? It's beautiful, it matches perfectly, and it solves our problem so easily. And it doesn't even look like it's from Ikea. It looks like a custom piece of furniture from West Elm, from something like that. So I'm really happy with how it turned out. Something I would do differently next time is I would put a, um, a clear coat of like, a more of a sheen to it. Um, I did put a wax top coat on it and I would have changed that to a clear coat. So just know that for the future. It does feel smooth, it looks great. It just doesn't have any of that furniture shine, a little bit of sheen that I wanted. So I will know for next time. And, but anyways, it looks beautiful. I love it so much. Next hack is I took an Alex cabinet, um, the tall version that has nine drawers. And I needed something for all my camera equipment. Some of you may know that I have another channel that I do travel and photography stuff on. So I have a ton of camera equipment. I have a ton of GoPro stuff. I have a ton of batteries. I have a ton of just camera equipment in general. And I needed something to organize it so I can just pack it up easily when I travel. And this is what I did. All right, we're in our office space in our house. Um, and my second Ikea hack is pretty basic when it comes to actually hacking the item. Um, I have this Alex shelf, which I got from Ikea, obviously. They have a short one and a tall one. This is the tall one, and I'm going to make this into a tech charging station. Um, on my other channel, which I'll link in the description below, I have a lot of camera equipment. I have a lot of GoPro accessories. I have a lot of things that just are kind of disorganized, and I don't really know what to do when I'm packing for going on a trip or a, like a shoot or something like that. So I got this and I'm going to basically make it into my tech like tower basically. But I'm going to do the top shelf something special. So I'm gonna show you that. And that's basically the whole hack is the top shelf. And then we're gonna zhuzh it up and we're going to make it pretty and we're gonna make it organized. So let's do it. So in this top shelf of this unit, I want to make this a charging drawer. Um, so I can have all my batteries, all my things ready to go, but I want it to be like electronic. So um, I'm going to put a strip, like a power strip in the back of this drawer. But in order to do that and not have a plug like running out of the drawer, I'm going to drill a hole in the back of this uh, cabinet here. I have, this is I think about a two and a half inch drill bit two and an eighth. Two and an eighth. Um, I borrowed it from my uncle and I'm going to drill a hole in the back so I can put the power strip in here and run it down the back of the unit and then plug it into the wall. So then all I have to do is basically open this drawer. All my batteries are ready to go. Everything's there. My extra batteries if I want to switch them out, things like that. I'll also keep things like my air tags in here, just the small memory cards, all that kind of tiny stuff and maybe some tools that I take to tighten up some tripods and things like that. Keep that in this top drawer that's ready to go and grab for like 
going on a trip or a shoot. So I've never used one of these before, so this is gonna be interesting. was easier than I thought, but I <laughs> accidentally uh, sawed off one of the uh, ends of the like prongs. <laughs> so maybe if you have this go over a little bit, I would say maybe half an inch and you would miss it. And that's why it took a little bit because I was sawing into metal. But that is done. It is in the perfect location because these drawers with this unit have a, a an inch or so uh, space on the very end. So they're not like the, the back of the drawer isn't very tall so the cord can go over, they can come through. And then I'm going to, on the back of this, kind of uh, tape it or secure it so it's down. It also can be um, done in and out of this area. So I'm going to now line my drawers with cork so things don't slip around, but I also got these Look at these little containers. Um, they're just plastic. It's a pack of 25. I'll link it in the description below um, from Amazon. They have little feet on them so they don't slide around anyway. But I also wanted to put cork in there just so um, it's a little more secure, a little more um, warm in there to give it some kind of depth and make sure other things, if I can't put them in the containers, don't slip around. So I have all these different sizes, four different sizes, and I'm going to put those in there. They're perfect for organizing stuff like this and i also got these from amazon they are um like for the cord and they just it'll fit right in there so all i need to do is kind of uh maybe get some glue and so it won't uh look like a nasty hole in the back you can't see that but i'll show it to you when it's done um but i got these you would use them in like a desk or something of the sort and I have a pack of 10 so I can use them for other things that I wanted. And they're pretty cheap, so I'll link those in the description below as well. But this will go on the back of that when I'm done, securing the cord and things like that. I'm going to now turn this around. And I got a roll of cork from Amazon. And I'm going to line the drawers so it is nice and lined. And ready to go. Gorilla glue adhesive, construction adhesive, and put on the outside here. And I do have a rag, so just in case there's a little spillage, it won't spill over. So I'm going to put this and while that's going I'm going to unlock that so it doesn't coming out perfect this stuff is super strong um, and it gives me a clean looking back that I want look at that it has to adhere adhere adhese so I'm just gonna hold it make sure I don't have any Nasty overage. And if you had a heat gun, this is where you could use this to dry this quicker. Um, I am just going to hold it and see what happens. Hopefully it stays at some point. Um, and then I'll basically be done and I'll show you the finished product. But that is a super easy Ikea hack. It um this uh like drawer unit they have small ones they have a huge filing cabinet one they also have made desks now that's a new item that ikea did and they're really cool desks they have the drawers inside the desk which is nice they also have just shelving that has um the drawer system in it and the reason that i like it so much is because the drawers come like really easily assembled and the unit itself like the sides 
already have the brackets for you to put the like the sliding brackets they already have it there so you can do that and not have to level anything the drawer and they're placed correctly so i really enjoy that but i'll show you the finished product of my charging station Super simple, super easy, and a great solution for exactly what I needed to do to hide everything away and to have it where I can just have my backpack next to it and literally just open each drawer and put everything in it like I needed to. Perfection. Our last hack is something super easy. I took these um, basic can jar vase things from Ikea. They are pretty tall and they are nesting. I think they still have them. If not, um, they do sell things similarly throughout the year to do this with. You could probably also get these at the dollar store or at Target and make them into an outdoor nautical situation. So here's what I did with those. First thing I did, I was taking these beautiful blue tin vases and I decided to wrap them in a twine or a yarn that was soft and it looked very neutral and it matched the wood tone on this handle. I took some Gorilla Glue hot glue and I just started wrapping it around and made it super tight and just tried to stay as linear and as tight to the previous line as possible and I just wrapped it until I hit the bottom. I did it for both of these uh, vases and I think that they looked fantastic. It was super easy. Um, it did take a long time just because of the wrapping. So you could do this with the glass, you could do this with these, but I had these on hand and I just think that they look so great. I'm definitely going to put them outside once the weather gets a little warmer and I'm going to just put maybe fresh flowers in them, maybe some branches from outside and just dress up our deck and it'll be really, really nice. All right guys, that was my three IKEA hacks. A beautiful cabinet, a great storage solution, and an awesome easy decor piece to add to your outdoor area or a nautical themed room. I think those are super easy hacks to start with. And if you are looking to do an IKEA hack, just look for shapes, look for textures, look for something that you can use in a space that you need, and go from there. There are tons of things that you can do to make IKEA not look like Ikea if you don't want it to. So I really had a great time doing this. A storage solution is always great to have, especially in a situation where I needed all this camera equipment and all this GoPro stuff organized so I can grab and go as I do. And a place to put our shoes, hand sanitizer, stuff like that at the front door ready to go. So I had a great time. I hope you really enjoyed this. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe to this channel if you haven't already and turn on that bell notification so you get notified every single time I post the video, which is every Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday. And until next time, guys, stay creative, make a mess, and do it yourself.